welcome back to our channel. So today I'm on my own because I am going to be showing you my makeup tutorial. So I am not the greatest at makeup ever, but I like doing it. It's something I enjoy and it makes me feel beautiful. Yeah, with that being said, let's get on with the video. So first things first, I have to prime my face. So I have to use my primer. This is the primer I use. It's e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And I just take a little bit of it and I put it on my finger and then I massage it into my face. So the next step of my makeup routine is going in with my foundation. Yes, my foundation is running out a little bit. It's the Neutrogena High... Whoa. <laughs> it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. So this is not a full coverage foundation. It's just to cover some blemishes and my under eyes. So I just take my foundation and I go in with some dots under my eyes and sometimes in my spots that I need covering up. As you guys can see, I have my damp beauty blender in my hand and now I just have to take it, my beauty blender and blend out the foundation. So now that I'm done with my foundation, as you guys can tell, my under eyes are really dark. And so I have to go in with my Morphe um, concealer, which is kind of light for me, honestly. So I just take a tiny, couple tiny dots because I don't want to be looking like a ghost. <laughs> So I'm going to blend this out and I'll get back to you. So now that I've blended my foundation and my concealer out, I kind of look a little bit pasty because I haven't done any color to my face yet. And I'm naturally blush, so I don't add too much blush, but I add a little bit. This is my blush and bronzer brush. I use that for my blush and my bronzer. And I don't do contour yet because I don't really know how to, if I'm being honest. And um, before we do that, we have to set in our base using um, the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I like this powder a lot. It just is a little smelly. So I do it in the places that I've done my foundation and on my concealer. And I just pat it in. It looks a little crazy right now, I know that, but that is because I haven't wiped it off. So I know I look a little ghosty right now, but I'm gonna fix that with my e.l.f. fluffy brush, and I just go in and I wipe the setting powder away. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Natural Face Palette, and I'm going to grab, a, grab the shade Sunny Honey up here, and I'm gonna use a tiny bit of that just cause it's kind of dark and my summer tan has kind of gone away. So I take that and I go on my cheekbones like this. Make sure, making sure to tap off the excess powder before we blend it on our cheekbones. And, and then we make the five head into a four head and take some sunny honey over here. And this palette is really nice because it smells, it smells very yummy and sweet. The bronzer just adds a little bit of color back into the face after our base takes a lot of a color or natural color out. And now I'm gonna go in with my Milani blush. And I like this blush a lot. It's just kind of natural. And it's pretty. And I put a little bit on my nose not too much because I don't really want to look like a soft girl, but I like how I, I like it when I have a blushy nose. I think that makeup is really all about whatever makes you feel good. So if you want to wear long lashes and eyeliner or you want to wear a simple glam makeup look, that's fine if it makes you feel beautiful. And I don't think you should ever do makeup to impress someone, I think it should be all about making yourself feel better. So now that my blush and my bronzer is done, I'm going to be using my James Charles X Morphe palette. I love this palette a lot. My sister and my dad got it for me on a Black Friday sale. And I think I'm gonna go in with some face and I'm just gonna put it on the nose and a dot on the nose and then it goes up. And I think that looks really good. 
I like this palette a lot because of the different shades in it and um, you can do just so much with it. You can either go for a natural look like I'm doing right now or you can go like full on crazy. And now that I have finished doing it with my finger, I'm going back in with my blush, uh, my blush brush and just smoothing it out a little bit to make it look more natural. And now I'm going back in with my blush and going back over it because I want it to be a pinkier highlight. And here's how my base looks so far with all of my bronzer and my blush on. And now we are going to be going on to the eyeshadow portion of this. I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow because I just feel like I don't really need it. But occasionally um, when I wanna feel sparkly, I take my James Charles palette and I take a, and I take a shimmery shade and I put that in the inner corners of my eyes. I'll do that and get back to you because I kind of need focus for that. I finished the inner corners and it's just a little sparkle on the inner corners. It's the shade below ring light. I can't remember the name right now because it um, got scratched off on my palette, but that's okay. Now I get to go in with my CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom by Lash Blast. It's the pink one and I just go in and um, do my top lashes. And a suggestion for anybody who wants like longer lashes is to wriggle the lash brush a little bit to make them longer and more full. <laughs> I have a really stupid face when I do my makeup, but that's okay. See how I'm wriggling my brush to make it longer and curled. I'll get back to you when I'm done with my lashes. I also do my bottom lashes, by the way. Okay, you guys, now that I have my lashes on and I'm looking cute, I did my bottom lashes too. If I didn't put that, tell you guys that. Now I go in with my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow and it's just like a clear brow. I really like playing with makeup because I find it really fun and it's an easy way to de-stress from the world around you. So during this pandemic, I've been, I've been playing a lot with makeup because it's just been making me not think about the world around me and And now I'm done with my brows and they're looking okay. <laughs> I don't pluck my brows because I just feel like I'd mess up and then they'd be even uglier. So, oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> um, so now I'm going in with my Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Color Balm Super Strawberry Number 7. <laughs> that's a long name, but I'm going with this in and I am taking it on the lips to give it a little tint. Have some red. And that makes my lips nice and pretty. And then after that, I go in with my Pixie by Petra lip gloss and I do that over it to give it a nice glossy finish. Okay guys, I'm done. This is the finished look. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit choppy. I haven't ever filmed a makeup video before, but I hope you guys like it. And to show your support and to show me that you like it, you can either comment. I don't know if the comments are gonna be turned on for this video. I don't know. But if you if the comments are on, can you comment what, you, what makeup videos you wanna see and what videos you wanna see in general? And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you did enjoy this video, remember to subscribe, like, and turn on that channel post and and turn on that channel post notification so you never miss another video. Okay, Daisies, bye. Hey, Daisies, it's Future Julia editing this. Sorry if I was playing with my hair or 
saying and and um a lot. I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, daisies. Thank you.